For APLUW's Tim Elam, it'll be a long wait until February 2021. If all goes as planned, that's when Perseverance, a car-sized robotic-wheeled rover, is to follow in the footsteps of Curiosity and touch down on the surface of Mars after a journey of more than 3 million miles. Among the instruments aboard Perseverance, the Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, Pixel. Tim Elam's long wait follows long years of hard, exacting work as a key member of the NASA JPL team that developed Pixel. I've been involved in this since I think I began with the proposal writing in about 2012. Mm -hmm. So I've been involved in this thing eight years already, um, and it'll be at least another two or two and a half. Um, uh, uh, it'll be two years after landing. Once on Mars, Pixel will use an X-ray beam to identify elements in rocks, scanning broad areas measured in centimeters, but able to zoom into 100 microns, about the size of a grain of sand. My role is to take the X-ray fluorescence spectra and convert that to elemental compositions and, and uh, um, uh, you know, uh, composition information about the sample at each of the little points in our little map that, uh, that Pixel produces as it moves around. I don't have an official title, but I like to think of myself as the chief spectroscopist. Readings from Pixel's X-ray spectrometer could provide scientists with physical and chemical details in rock samples that may be fossilized remnants of Martian microbes. In other words, signs of ancient life. One of the things that makes Pixel such a cool instrument is that it doesn't just tell us the composition of these materials, but it also tells us their structure, what elements are in different places. We can make a map of any particular element that we can see. We can make a map of its spatial distribution, and that's critical for finding biosignatures. That puts Pixel right up front in the search for preserved signs of life from billions of years ago. If we were to actually see something that we were uh, had reasonable confidence that it was a biosignature, we would all be just ecstatic. To maximize chances of success, Perseverance is programmed to touch down in a crater named Jezero. Jezero once held a lake, which may have been home to past life, and boasts well-preserved delta deposits left behind by outflowing water. Until February 2021, Pixel is a silent passenger on Perseverance's long ride to Mars. Mostly it's going to sit powered off and quiet, but if all goes well, Pixel and Perseverance will soon start sending data that may reveal more secrets of the red planet. So every day we have to cycle it. We get whatever data has come down and we look at it and we analyze it and we try to figure out what's going on and we, and we compare that to what we expected to receive in our plan. Um, and then we send a new set of commands uh, for it to then operate autonomously for the next uh, uh, Mars day, which is a, a little about 25 hours plus. I dream about that every day. It's like, oh, what, what is that going to feel like? That's got to be just amazing to yeah. be sitting there and watching data come down from Mars and trying to interpret it and figure it out. Seven. Six, Tim Elam is still five, trying to get his head around the fact that after years of work, Pixel is on its way at last. And lift off. It wasn't quite real until you see that rocket go up. It's like, oh, yeah, wow. This thing is really going to Mars. As the countdown to Mars continues, the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the Red Planet.